This is the Horizon FD 110, the second largest boat in Horizon's FD range. And if you're not familiar with what this range is about, the FD stands for fast displacement. It's got a hull shape that is designed to cruise at slower speeds, but very efficiently. We're talking thousands of miles of range. The other thing is volume. Interior volume is a really key part of this boat's attraction. So we're gonna get on board now, do the full tour. I'm Jack Haynes, welcome to Yacht Buyer. Let's start back here at the transom then, where there are a couple of options. This boat's got the extended cruise space, so you can see you've got extra storage there, you've got space down there for your sea bobs. But in this hatch overhead, you've got this shower installed in there, so you've got a proper overhead shower back here on the platform. If you don't want that, you can have a beach club, which they've got on the FD100, which we'll cut to now. But then obviously this hatch comes down and you've got a door in that hatch, so you can still get through to the crew cabin, even if the, the hatch is down. 2,000 pound capacity here on this enormous high-low bathing platform. And then you have access up to the cockpit from both sides. There's a passerelle there that extends out. So if you're more stern too, you can easily walk up to the quay side. But let's head up into the boat itself and look at the cockpit. Really easy access up into here. Very large, substantial mooring gear as you'd expect on a boat of this size. And you've got boarding gates on both sides. So if you're side to the dock and it's quite high, you don't have to get off the stern of the boat. You can just walk off either side, makes handling lines a lot easier if you have this side access. What's really striking about this cockpit is not only the, the beam of it, it's a really, really large, generous space, but you've also got this lovely big overhang overhead. So it feels really protected. There's a drop down shade that comes down there to give you a bit of privacy if you're more stern too, and obviously protect you from the elements as well. And this is just a really lovely, relaxed area with the bar over here. You can serve your guests really easy from here. You've got all the facilities you need down here to keep your guests fed and watered. Just look at the size of that table as well. It's on an adjustable leg so you can raise and lower the height. This is a really lovely functional space. Let's carry on on the main deck into the saloon. As you enter the saloon on the port side, you have a day head, really nicely positioned by the cockpit, easy access from the top deck as well, so you can quickly dip into the toilet during the day. This is actually a really sensible position for the television as well. It's angled into the saloon, but it means that most of this seating can see it really easily. It doesn't have to come up from a cabinet or fold down from the ceiling. It's just in a nice position, so the whole of the saloon can see it. Now this boat, in terms of spec and design, it really is a blank sheet of paper. Customization is really important to Horizon. This particular boat was actually spec by Horizon Yachts USA, so designed, I imagine, to have quite broad appeal. It's really tastefully done though, beautifully finished, really nice light color scheme. It works very nicely. It's smart, but it looks comfortable and inviting at the same time. Absolutely incredible galley on this boat. We walk past here, you know, there's a wine fridge down there. But then as we enter the galley proper, there's a door here that shuts it off to the saloon. There's also a sliding door here. And then there is also a partition here. That just goes up of its own accord. And there's another door here. So you can fully close this area off if the crew are on board and using the galley, but you still have a side door that's accessible so they can get out around the decks without disturbing those who are using the saloon. And what a galley this is. It's a real sort of country kitchen vibe. It's absolutely lovely with this central island, domestic size appliances, really big sub-zero fridge, massive twin sink, domestic cooking as well. It's a really lovely kitchen, this one. We head back out this way, continue moving forward, you arrive at the master suite. Up here on the main deck, it's elevated, it's quiet, it has privacy away from the guests who are on the lower deck and you obviously get the benefit of these enormous hull windows that really characterize the styling of the FD range. And you really do get the benefit here. These windows are absolutely amazing, almost floor to ceiling, really lovely views out over the water. And then with the bed here, and what an enormous bed it is, you have the bathroom forward here. And this is a really nice use of space again, because you have a sink on this side, toilet on this side, and you have it mirrored on the other side with a really large shower in between. So his and hers sink and toilet works really nicely with an enormous rain shower head over top. This is a, a very, very luxurious cabin. Now let's head downstairs and look at the guest cabins. Now it's much the same down here as it is up on the main deck in that, again, you can pretty much work this layout however you wanted to. This particular boat has got twin guest cabins aft here. They're both doubles, they're identical, mirror images of each other, but they're really generous size. You've got the bed running across the boat, nice big hull window 
up behind and lots and lots of storage, full height storage over on that side and en suites both with these sliding partition doors to give you a bit of privacy, separate shower and toilet cubicle, really nicely specified. Of course, the sky's the limit when it comes to layout, so you could just knock this wall down and have a massive full beam guest cabin if you wanted to, but if you're thinking of charter or something like that, this is a very effective layout. You have a storage utility room just on this side, and then as you head forward to starboard, you actually have a dedicated laundry room in the middle of all the cabins so the guests can easily get to the washer and dryer. There's a bit more storage in there as well, just a really useful space to have if people are on board the boat for a long time. But duck in here, you have another guest cabin, twin this time. Again, it's en suite, a nice pair of single beds. Again, hull window here, so you get a bit of natural light coming in. If we head right forward, you have a forward VIP, another really lovely cabin. So we're underneath the master cabin now. Not quite as spacious, but still very, very generous headroom. You've got separate television in here and Sonos sound system that you control independently of everywhere else. Again, storage is really impressive, both eye level, lower level and full height hanging wardrobes as well. Again, another really tastefully done and very luxurious cabin. Now let's head upstairs and see where you drive it from. Here it is then, this is where you drive from and the design of this boat means that you are quite a long way forward, which is nice on a boat of this size and you want for absolutely nothing at this helm station. It feels very, very professional, dominated by these four enormous Garmin screens and actually this arrangement works really well because they've got the fish finder there or you can have radar there. Then through this system you have oversight of all of the boat's systems there. You can control that all from this screen here. Cameras as well, really important about this size that you can see around the boat really easy. So those cameras are, are really, really helpful. And then you've got your charting over here as well. We've got fin stabilizers on this boat to help keep it on the straight and narrow when you're out at sea. And then you have hydraulic bow and stern thrusters as well. Of course, you've got twin shafts, so maneuverability, despite it being such a large boat, shouldn't be too bad given you've got that amount of fine control. Three really nice helm seats here. And then you've got this nice little bench back here so that crew or passengers even can come and sit here and enjoy the ride from the business end of the boat. And there's a little desk here so the captain can do some chart work easily without being too far away from the helm. Now this is generally gonna be a cruise space. So like downstairs with the galley, you can close it off from this lounge area here. Again, single touch of a button, the screen comes up and we have a pocket door here. So you can just close the helm off at night or if you want a bit of privacy from the crew. And this is a really lovely cozy area. That saloon downstairs is very big, great if you're entertaining. But if you want somewhere a little cozier, a little warmer, a bit more intimate, you've still got the TV up here, you've got another day heads and this really lovely lounging space. Again, those elevated views, we're up very high now. So the view out from here is absolutely superb. I mentioned the day heads. Again, this is really well located so you can quickly come off deck and use the toilet. And now I'm out onto deck. Again, a very, very flexible area out here. You can do whatever you want with this space. We've got some freestanding furniture here. We've got a pretty decent wet bar over here with the all important barbecue grill. You've probably spotted that enormous crane over there. That means you can stow a tender up here, but you've also got that hydraulic bathing platform. So you can stow it in both places, gives you a bit more flexibility. Or you have a tender on one and jet skis up here. Again, you can do whatever you want. Nice amount of shade from this overhead canopy here. And then what's really nice about this deck, if we move on round, is that down this side, it is asymmetric, but down this side, you have completely unbroken connection to the bow area. So we head down here, you have a side door directly out from the bridge. And under this box here, you have a wing station. So you can get nice and close to the edge of the boat. You can peer over, you have control of the engines and the thrusters from here. But of course you've got great proximity to the edge of the boat so you can see how close you are to the dock side. And if we keep moving forward, this is the really fun bit. This is an option, you can have sunbathing space there. You can have more tables, whatever you want. You'll probably get in the picture, whatever you want you can have. But this boat's got the jacuzzi, which is just such a luxurious touch. And what a place to have it as well. You've got a really lovely view off the front of the boat. You can have people relaxing around this really comfortable seating area as well. Sort of beach club vibe from this overhead canopy. Dedicated sunbathing space down there. 
and then right forward of course you've got your anchors ground tackle and all that stuff the last place to check out on deck is the sun deck surely not more deck space i hear you cry yes there is more and yeah of course it sounds like you can get lost on a hundred foot boat but the nice thing about this is that you can find your own little space guests don't always have to be together they can be there's enough space for them to do that but if you just want to find your quiet little corner then all these little deck spaces allow you to do that and this is where the sun worshippers will be because as you can see this is basking in the florida sunshine as we speak really big sunbathing space you've got your side tables here chargers you never have to leave if you don't want to if we move forward you've just got a nice dinette area under a bit of shade if you need to take a break and then again the facilities you need to serve guests who are up here even more sunbathing space forward yeah as i said the sun worshippers paradise so these are all the spaces that the guests can enjoy let's go and see what the crew have got in store and true to form the theme of space continues down here in the crew quarters now even though this has got the extended crew quarters you still get the same amount of space if you have the beach level the same amount of cabins anyway so what that means is you have two sets of bunks down there in their own separate cabins you have your galley area here which is really nicely equipped with cooking storage sink got an oven and fridge down there as well over on this side the captain has their own private cabin with a double bed and their own ensuite and then you have this pretty spacious mess area as well where you've got television sound bar like you've got in the other cabins and you can see another screen here where the crew have oversight over what the boat is doing all the systems are there to hand you can really easily reference all that stuff there is another access point to the crew space so we came in here through the transom but from the cockpit you can also get down into this area so that makes the, the flow through this area much better and then crucially the crew have direct access through this watertight door into what is a pretty amazing engine room now this is an incredible engine room it really is and when it comes to engine choice like everything else on this boat it's really very flexible if you want it they'll fit it this particular one has got caterpillar c32a 1900 horsepower engines top speed is about 18 and a half knots you cruise at 14 knots you'll get a good 700 miles out of it drop it back to 10 knots and you're looking at 2000 miles of range so it's a proper mile muncher and i would say the crew will be happy with their quarters the engineer will be happy with this machinery space it is absolutely glistening immaculate spacious i mean look how much room i've got over my head when you talk about attention to detail they've even put blue lighting in the bilges here under the engine so you can spot leaks and also look into those deep dark bowels really easily it really is spectacular there you have it then horizon fd 110 but what i want to know is what you think about this boat let me know in the comments below and also whether you'd go for this or a sunseeker 100 yacht if you had the money i hope you enjoyed this tour if you did please do give the video a like and remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a tour of something like this